the design principles as used by the international style. The key stylistic characteristic of Swiss international graphic design is the clear organization of the elements according to the portioning of a grid. The eight principles of design are hierarchy, figure ground, balance, contrast, scale, proportion, cropping and pattern. Hierarchy is the ordering of importance in a composition. Hierarchy can be established by the organization of the design elements according to their placement, relative size, level of contrast. Hierarchy established by relative size of shapes and type. Hierarchy established by contrast and relative size. Figure ground is the visual separation of a design's parts between a foreground and a background. Figure ground describes the relationship between the dominant and less dominant elements within a design's hierarchy of information. The foreground element is usually informed by background elements. This poster works in reverse. The foreground elements informs the background element. Figure ground will often correspond to negative space and positive shape. Here's an example of an inversion of the positive and negative relationship. Balance is the establishment of harmony. Balance can be established symmetrically or asymmetrically. In a symmetrically balanced composition, the elements are the same on either side of a vertical axis. In an asymmetrically balanced composition, the elements are different on either side of a vertical axis. Asymmetrical balance creates a more dynamic composition. A couple of examples of asymmetrical balance. Here's an example of the application of a clear asymmetry and an example of a subtle asymmetry. Symmetrical balance along a horizontal axis. Symmetrical divisions with asymmetrical content. Minimal elements set against white space. And compositions made stable by a heavier lower half. Busy asymmetrical compositions with overlaid elements. Designers make decisions whether or not they include white space, how will they align the elements, and what direction would the composition take. Will it be vertical, horizontal, or in this case, a dynamic diagonal? Here are some other options the designer could have taken. Note how more dynamic the original actually is. Contrast is the juxtaposition of two very different elements to create visual tension. Here we have contrast and scale and tone against color. Contrast in type weight and line direction. Contrast in scale. Contrast of tonal values. High contrast of type against form, an example of low contrast. Scale is the relative size of elements within a composition. Environmental and industrial designers make drawings and models representing the dimensions of a design's actual size. Architecture and product design drawings and models reduce or enlarge actual sizes according to a ratio such as 1 to 10 where the 1 represents one unit of measure in a drawing and the 10 represents the actual size that is 10 times bigger. 
Architectural illustrations may use trees, cars and figures to suggest the realistic scale of a building. In graphic design, the human figure provides a sense of scale. Scale assists the viewer make sense of depth and distance by making objects in the distance or background smaller than objects in the foreground. Scale assists the viewer make sense of proportions. The varieties of aeroplanes are represented to scale in relation to each other. The eye in this composition used as a metaphor is visually striking and effective because its scale, its size, is proportionally correct in relation to the scale of the hand. Proportions concerned with relations of scale. Proportion is the relation between a format's width to its height. Proportional reduction of scale, in this example of a cube, reduced proportionally from large to small. Proportion is a relation between one part of the design to the whole. The logo takes up a square format. It is as tall as it is wide. Each of its parts is designed in proportion to another. The crown with its claws, its tail with its body. Root 2 rectangles have a proportion ratio of 1 to 1.42, which is the ratio of common paper sizes. Swiss graphic designers often organize their layouts on grids based on root 2 rectangles, that is, proportions based on the square root of 2. Here's an example of the employment of, of a root 2 uh, rectangle, beginning with a square, then extended proportionally. The size of these shapes, the bird and snake, are in proportion to each other and take up similar amounts of space. Their individual parts, such as the bird's talons and snake's markings, are also in, in proportion to each other. We read these irregular black shapes as a human figure because the size of the shapes are in approximate proportion to the human form. Proportion in the divisions of a grid and the distribution of content. Proportion is a relation between one part of the design to another. Here the tools are proportional to the hand. Cropping is the exclusion of parts of an element. Cropping adds intrigue and allows the viewer's imagination to complete the design. Cropping for scaling up emphasis and detail. Cropping creates interest and animates negative spaces. Cropping can be used for a semantic effect. The crop circle reads as a C for Chicago. Implied cropping of a repeated element. The red circle is repeated as a portion of the whole while referencing the C's in Chicago Convention Capital. Pattern The repetition of point, line, shape, form and type. There are two main types of regular patterns repetitive and alternating. Patterns can be based on the repetition of a motif. Repetitive patterns can create a sense of rhythm and movement. Patterns can be regular and irregular.